First, just put a shout out uh, to uh, www.pastorpaulgold.com on behalf of noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. And you can call them this morning at 877 646 5347. Uh, the information that they want to share with you today is if you're trying to navigate to market um, turbulence, if you're trying to navigate through this tur a very weird time, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment Safe Haven at www.pastorpaulgold.com. With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that stood the test of time gold. It is a biblical currency. Unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold and the ultimate safe haven it provides. And if precious metals are new to you, <clears throat> Noble Gold Investment will hold your hand through the whole process. They have a team of experts who will guide you every step of the way to safety. Thousands of investors have sheltered their retirement savings by going to www.pastorpaulgold.com. Don't leave yourself exposed to the markets right now. It's way too risky. But with gold at an all-time high, looking to climb further, this would be a perfect time. Matter of fact, over at Op uh, Noble Gold Investments, you can open an IRA or roll over that 401k, <clears throat> secure your future, and they will give you this three ounces of pure silver, uh, America silver, virtue coin for free so this is a, a good way to get off to a great start with a new year with www.pastorpaulgold.com again you can call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them that pastor paul sent you there well quote in davos donald trump is already the president Open Society Foundation's Chairman Alex Soros told a panel at the World Economic Forum on Friday, quote, that's a good thing, because the Davos consensus is always wrong, he said. The potential for Trump, currently leading in the race for the Republican nomination in the upcoming presidential election, to secure a second term in the White House, has been a prominent discussion among political and business leaders gathered in Switzerland this week. Despite facing 91 felony counts across various criminal cases, numerous U.S. business executives remain optimistic about Trump's chances against President Joe Biden in the anticipated 2024 presidential race. Quote, Donald Trump owns the Republican Party. We're in something I like to call the Trump cycle because I think even if, and I believe, if the institutions hold when he loses this election— He'll also be the Republican candidate in 2028, and maybe even 2032 as well, Soros said in CNBC reported. Quote, what's the way out for him? He either winds up in prison or he winds up in power. He's not going on some beach somewhere and retiring, he said. Most polling in recent months has put Trump ahead of Biden across key swing states. Late on Sunday night, after the Buffalo Wild Wings in Lawrence, Indiana had closed, Justin Carpenter arrived at the restaurant seeking a specific late-night snack, fried pickles. In an ill-advised attempt to persuade the closed kitchen to reopen, the 25-year-old proposed a peculiar barter exchange to Buffalo Wild Wings employees, two of whom were minors. According to police allegations, Carpenter, quote, offered drugs to Buffalo Wild Wings workers in exchange for fried pickles. Wearing an ankle monitor due to a prior drug arrest, Carpenter reportedly offered marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, and vape cartridges containing THC to the workers. Accompanied by a male friend, he declared, quote, if you make us some fried pickles, I'll make it worth it. However, the employees did not agree to the unconventional trade leading Carpenter to leave the Buffalo Wild Wings, the smoking gun reported. Before departing, investigators claimed that Carpenter left three small bags of marijuana on the restaurant's front counter 
instructing the manager to, quote, give those bags to the kids. Following the incident, police tracked Carpenter's vehicle to a nearby Speedway gas station, where he was taken into custody. Subsequent searches of Carpenter and his car uncovered marijuana, cocaine, oxycodone, Xanax, THC cartridges, and scales containing a white powder. Carpenter, depicted in the photo, was arrested on multiple felony and misdemeanor narcotics charges and booked into the county jail, as reported by the smoking gun. According to court records, he is also a defendant in two separate drug cases filed the previous year, leading to the pretrial service officials fitting him with a GPS ankle monitor. In the event of Carpenter's release from custody, a judge has ordered him to refrain from any contact with the Buffalo Wild Wings or its employees. A cargo plane, a Boeing 747, executed an emergency landing on Thursday night after witnesses observed it emitting flames in the night sky over Miami. The Federal Aviation Administration, currently investigating Boeing following an Alaska Airlines flight's emergency landing earlier this month due to a door plug detachment midair, announced on Friday that it will also examine this recent incident involving an Atlas Air flight. The airline said in a statement that Flight 5Y095, headed for Luis Munoz Marin International Airport in Puerto Rico, quote, landed safely after experiencing an engine malfunction soon after departure from the Miami International Airport. Quote, the crew followed all standard procedures and safely returned to MIA. At Atlas, safety is always our top priority and we will be conducting a thorough inspection to determine the cause. Atlas Air said. The aircraft departed at 10.22 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday and landed back in Miami at 10.30 p.m. local time, according to the FAA, NBC News reported. A source with the knowledge of the investigation informed NBC News on Friday that the initial inspection of the Atlas Air engine uncovered, quote, a softball-sized hole above the number two engine. A Miami resident uploaded cell phone footage to Instagram late Thursday capturing the plane flying across the sky with what seems to be a trail of fire behind it. <laughs> 